okay so let us understand the okay so let me use a tree command here now now you are able to see it is a default directory structures okay so we are using a the server from a amazon okay so here so let now for the understanding so first we understand what does mean by slash okay so slash here if you want to see how much space is slash is given here by default in a uh, amazon so you will see here df space hyphen h okay so 10 gigabyte this is it so it is a space of 10 gigabyte so other is a temporary file system so you can forget this okay these are temporary file system okay so forget about okay so so here this is your okay so Okay, so this is the default file tree structure. So now let us for uh, let's go for understanding. So now we uh, we now we have a very good understanding. 10 GB is for a so our slash root file system. Now let's go for inside. What, what is slash bin? So in bin we have a binaries. So lot of binaries that that would be used by that will be used by that those will be used by normal user and super user super user who is a super user root okay so these binary can use so what does mean by binaries normal your commands so right now uh, you are able to see i am using a like uh, ls command ls hyphen l i am using to see the directory if you want to know the location where is this this commands belongs to which location i, I let me use which command and ls so here sorry okay so here you will see the location under slash usr bin slash ls okay so interesting thing is here so interesting thing is here you are, you are able to see bin only so what here it is showing slash usr slash bin slash ls so what is the reason is behind so let me explain here okay so this uh, this arrow key a uh, hyphen and greater than it will show soft link soft link soft link so what does it mean by soft link it is the same as like same as like windows shortcut windows shortcut windows shortcut okay as like windows short shortcut okay as like windows shortcut okay so uh, this is a real location actually it is a real location so let me show the examples okay so better to let me show you the examples here okay so now here you are able to see camatitia okay so if you but here you are able to see it is on a de desktop okay but it is a desktop shortcut already i think you know right what if you want to know the real location the real location is where is real location this is inside so now you can see it it is under c program files text myth or blah 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 okay it is a real location this is a real location real location okay this is a real location but you are able to see here on your desktop so in linux that called a soft link so it is a two type one is soft link one is a hard link so now it is a soft link i will let you know later what does mean by soft link and hard link difference between both but both are same as like desktop shortcut so it is clear or do you yeah, want to ask yeah. clear right okay got it okay thank you okay so now here okay okay so in inside a bean we have a binaries so let me show these binaries also okay let me show binaries 
here so here uh, now uh, let me go inside a slash bin i'm going inside a slash bin okay be the cd means change directory i'm using here cd space slash bin okay so later i will teach you these cd commands okay so here okay. let me do ls means list so all all are the binaries here means these are the mostly commands okay which we are using suppose here you are cw so w is also command okay so see uh, let me use w command now you are able to see this output okay so these are the commands used by normal user and as well as super user means root user also so okay so now it's clear for slab bin yeah yeah okay yes. so come for a boot so boot is using for a in a boot having a your kernel files your kernel files initial ram file system fs and bootloader okay bootloader bootloader means your grub grub file grub to files okay so for a deep i will i will take this file uh, i will take uh, this lecture in a deep later but for right now for a understanding kernel files means uh, you know linux is using a kernel so kernel is uh, is using is manage your operating systems software and your cpu resource like ram memory and cpu so here you will see let let me show you you name hyphen a you name hyphen a here you are able to see the kernel version this is a kernel version is using here but where are these file exist this is a kernel version okay so linux kernel version so where is the kernel version if you want it is inside a slash boot if i'm show you okay so here so here you can see these are the kernel this is a kernel version files so that was the reason you are able to see this information so see here 4.180240 and here initial ram files these are the fi file system later i will take in the deep and it is a grub bootloader so when you on when you will power on your system okay so first it will execute the mbr master boot record so i will take these things later and explain each how boot that called a boot process so we have a separate lectures boot process okay that time you will we, we will understand more okay so these files why we are using for a booting process so all these files using for your boot your system for boot your process later we will take in a deep so right now as of now why we are using a boot slash boot here your kernel related file kernel or init or grub files related related to boot process files exist in this directory so clear yeah okay thank you thanks okay so okay so let's come for the next one okay so data by default data is not there so it is created so i am not here um, cut here so let me show this is uh, it is your this is your my system is slow <clears throat> okay so now now we will learn about a slash dev okay so inside a slash dev you will find your all your storage related your store your storage related slash uh, for example slash dev slash hard disk name for example the hard disk name is uh, uh, let me come for the console that is better for good understanding okay so here so now let's talk about a slash dev so why we are using a slash dev inside a slash dev your all the hard disk drive hard disk drive cd rom okay uh, or suppose if you are connecting your usb 
these all files connect, uh, uh, exist here and so and right now we have taken this session we have taken this session this this session is ca called a procedo terminal session slash zero right now it is under also slash deb under slash deb so let let's try to understand here let's try to understand here okay so now suppose i am click here and i am clicking a duplicate session so now it is establishing a connection it is establishing a connection that called a procedo terminal session slash deb slash deb slash pts slash zero for example okay so let me create a session here now okay root sorry it is a ec2 user because i am using a okay so i am using aws virtual machine now it's creating a session and after that it created a shell first it created a session now it created a shell that shell called a bash shell okay which shell we are using we are using a bash shell we are using a bash shell okay so here so what does mean by shell so wh what does mean by shell Sh shell is working as a shell is working as working as interpreter between user and kernel user and kernel okay so you know why because kernel is understanding kernel linux kernel linux kernel is understand the binary format binary format that is 0 and 1 okay but user will user will use the commands that is influenced by influenced by english language right we are using influence all the commands that is influenced by english language right so where you are using on shell so which shell we are using right now we are using a bash shell bash shell means born again shell so this shell right now we are using okay this shell we are using okay so okay so user will use the command so right now let me use any commands here now i am using a u name hyphen a command okay so you are able to see this result right so right now we have typed this command on the top of shell that that is influenced by a english language and you are able to grab the output so this request will goes to a linux kernel linux kernel and kernel have uh, after that it this request goes to linux driver as uh, um, drivers and drivers uh, kernel drivers kernel drivers and kernel drivers use the generic uh, drivers and after that this request goes to your monitor so that was the reason you are able to get this output okay so that is the reason here okay so okay so did you get the point or let me draw a diagram yeah it's clear i got it got it right okay yeah. so now okay so which terminal we are using you can check through a tty command okay so right now i'm not teaching but just for your uh, uh purpose right now i'm showing you so we have first i said it is creating a T pts0 means you have created a first terminal then it is a zero because right now you know we have taken two terminal here so this is a first terminal okay it is right. not disconnected okay no problem so it is a disconnected okay so we have taken the two terminal that was the reason so one is out now you have only pts1 so that is terminated so this is so suppose if you are creating a multiple terminal so it will comes here multiple session so right now i have here now let me use a w command here now the let me log in here see uh, let, let me log in here let me clear this now uh, 
okay so root sorry it's not a root uh, uh, okay so let me take one more session so ec2 user is a, here so we are using a ec2 user in a amazon cloud okay ec2 user okay so here now it's created now let me run this command now it's created this session here pts0 one two session now you can check here tty so first it created a this terminal session okay this terminal session and on the top of this terminal session it's give us a shell that called a born again shell okay so so let me show you here okay ls this okay now okay so ls kazi is not uh, so here it's not giving any output here uh, okay so let me show you here uh, this is mine uh, here okay so here ls kazi now here you can see right now i have used ls kazi the uh, here in virtual machine there is uh, no output it's showing but here now you can see our cd dvd dvd is there where is the location under slash dab and this is our disk which we are using here bmware okay so where is the location under slash dab slash sda okay so now it's clear what happened inside this slash dab yeah yeah okay okay great okay so don't worry everything i have written in a documents as well also okay this is a documents so slash root file system as per best practice should be a 50 gb or 4 gb we can give it or 2 gb also we can give minimal installation but that's not required for a practical purpose you can do and slash bin here your all the binaries or commands exist that can be used by a normal user as well as a root user and slash boot your boot process related files exist like kernel initial file system bootloader and the size how much we can give here if you want to give a separate size slash 400 mb is sufficient okay uh, if i show you here df space hyphen h so here we have a two server here i have given a separate file system separate that was the reason i'm able to see here separate file system is here here this is a separate file system and if you let me show you here in a aws okay so here so here let me use a df space hyphen h here so here we don't have separate okay we don't have a separate here it is a inside so like i have produced example you can give here different 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 here so here we are have given and here by default in a aws server it's not there right okay yeah. so now you got the points okay so okay so here i have also given a 10 gb here i have given only 5 gb 5 gb okay here i have given a 5 gb 5 gb so here you can see this i have given here size only 5 gb 5 gb and by default here came 10 gigabyte okay so this these are the difference here so okay so let's come for me okay so now up to here everything is clear am i right or is there any confusion please let me know either no, no, I will... I okay but... clear right got it okay yeah. thank, you. thank you okay now let's go for a slash etc so under slash etc your all the os configuration files exist under slash etc your os related under slash etc all os related config file exist config files exist okay so let's take example if you are giving a ip so ip will be there because you know every system is having a take uh, having a unique ip that was the reason we are able to communicate to a your uh, internal lan or uh, if you want to con uh, connect with the internet also okay ip and your dns and dns or other either might be your ntp entries or either might be your firewall uh, or your uh, your security that is might be your firewall or c linux so all these files exist inside a a under slash etc so right now uh, uh, let me show you the example here 
okay so for better understanding okay so now for example now what is the ip here okay so the ip is one set so this is it this i where is this ip location where is this file exist so under slash etc sysconfig network hyphen script okay so here this file exists see this is a file okay so this file is exist here that was the reason here this is the ip file so it is your ip this is your private ip private ip okay private ip this is your private ip okay so let me clear okay so it's a private ip suppose if you want to add your dns dns entries okay slash etc result.com you don't need to remember right now this file just for your showing purpose so here your name server uh, here your entry so do you know what does it mean by uh, dns you know no okay okay no problem i will let me explain it okay what is a dns so okay so let us suppose it is your dns server and here you are using here accessing here the website facebook.com fb.com okay fb.com okay so now it is connected through a internet your system is connected through a internet okay this is a dns server so let us assume we are using a public dns server public dns server uh, we are using a, let us suppose we are using a google google public dns server okay this is a google public dns server okay so let me write here google public dns server that is the ip is 8.8.8.8 okay we are using this okay so what happened when you are doing a fb.com it this request okay and let us say it is your this is your facebook server it is your facebook server fb facebook fb server okay so it is connected to it is also connected to a internet so when you will type fb.com first this request goes to your dns okay so dns what it will do it will resolve it will resolve here host name to ip okay because server will understand ip not for host name who will resolve dns will resolve okay first okay. it will resolve your host name to ip it here it will get a, some ip blah blah ip i will show you suppose here i will show you here now if you want to see the ip ns lookup ns lookup command is there okay it's not a there so let me directly ping here uh, fb.com so it will show you the ip okay so this is ip here okay so this ip is used by here so i have here ns lookup command is not there so that was the reason i have used a ping command so you can see it is resolved here this is it is right now it is using this is your ip so it will use this convert this ip and this request goes to here again it will fetch your uh, facebook request what is your request for example you are logging or you are posting any video or yes just you are watching anything and again this request will goes to here for a google dns okay so google google dns so here now what it will do now go now google D, cloud dns it will convert your ip to host name okay and this request goes to your internet and internet to here. Now your request completed. Sure. Now clear? Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay, okay. So all these information is, okay. So where this information we are, we can put inside a slash etc. ETC. 
okay so ne next is like ntp what does mean by ntp network time protocol network time protocol so now you are able to see this time is here so how this time automatically updated because due to this ntp network time protocol okay why because network time network time protocol okay with ntp so the all these Im os important or either your security security means like your firewall or c linux all these configuration file exist under slash etc okay so let me clear so now uh, now it is clear now it's clear up to yeah. slash etc okay cool cool fine okay thank you okay now let's go yes. for a slash home so slash home is same it is a normal user home directory normal user home directory normal user home directory okay same similar in a windows so in windows let me show you in windows so right now i am here uh, if, I, if i show you slash home here okay now you can see here okay now you can see here here there are two user here one is ec2 sunday ec2 hyphen user sundays if you want to check are uh, really these a user are these user or is are this a normal directory just use a id commands so don't worry later i will teach you just for demo perspective show you okay see it is sundays where is the location if you want to see the location pwd is using for a present working directory okay so under a home so now sundays is a user exist here and this is a ec2 user already you know we are we are using this user to log in right so where is our location slash yes. home slash home this is a home user same as like if you want in a window right now let me use a cmd command and here you will see slash user Hariom. So it is, and this is a home location in a Windows inside a C directory. C directory inside a users directory, users folder inside a Hariom. And here your uh, you will see all your desktop profile, desktop or document, blah 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 blah. Okay. So uh, let me show you also uh, okay. in. Okay. So here. So okay. So here this is a c user and uh, here user and this is a hariom now so this is a location here now you are able to see hariom related here you have a desktop folder so now i am able to see all desktop files here that is a home directory so same similar here but for a normal user not for a root user not for a super user so super user home directory is a slash root it is a super user home directory same similar super user home directory super user home directory okay so now clear for slash home yeah okay fine yeah. now let us discuss about a next live and live 64 so live and live 64 this file is using for a library okay we are using for a library okay this is these are the library files library libraries files okay same as same as in windows in windows in windows we are using we are using dot dll dot dll and in linux and in linux the extension is these are the extension and linux extension is dos dot s o uh, s o or dot s o dot zero or dot s o dot one or one or two like that okay so what is the pur purpose of these library files actually let's try to understand okay the purpose is that right now you know i have used a ls command to see the content inside a directory right so this command is dependent on library 
okay this file is dependent on library files if these library files are missing you can't execute these directory so these directories these the um, so these sorry these binaries dependent on a library files so without library files we can't execute so if you want to see which library files i am using or we are using so let me show you that let me produce the examples here okay so first let us see the full path where is the full path now this is a full path okay so let me use a one command strings so here it will show me the string means we are using we want to see is the compiled binaries so we can't cat this uh, direct uh, this fi uh, file or binary file we need to use a string and let me see a string so now you are able to see here they are using slash live 64 under a live 64 ld hyphen linux x86 s dot 2 okay dot 2 so if this library deleted you can't execute this command so this library files dependent on a library file same similar in a windows also so same as windows also follow there we are so for example let me show you here in windows suppose what happened in a windows folder if you goes to here you will see lot of library files so let me show you here here see this is a python library files it is a python library files okay this is a dot dll if i deleted this file your python will not work if you want to your systems library file in a windows so let me show you here uh, here you need to go system 32 uh, and if you have corrupt this file in your windows operating system once you reboot your operating system you can't up your system now your system has been crashed you can't use it. so these are lot of library files okay okay so these are library files so system so your application is dependent on library files so without library files you even you can't execute your google chrome any browser internet explorer or even notepad also okay so these file dependent on library in windows we called a dot dll and in linux we called a dot so dot so dot one dot so dot two etc like that the extension is these are the extension okay so 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 it is dependent on these like our body's part how dependent to each other's to work right so um, how our hand is working mind my, mind is giving the um, signals right you need to do right so like that means just a layman example it's not a suitable but it's just a layman to understanding purpose i'm giving here so without library files we can't execute any single command if i deleted these files right now your operating system will crash once you rebooted you your system will not come okay so sure. that was the reason okay so here okay so now even here i have practically show you here also so mm -hmm. how we, uh, this is the library files if i had deleted see this is the library files if i deleted this library files, why mistakenly so so right now i have used the strings command most normally we are using a cat commands to see uh, to read a content it's a compiled binary i can't see cat let me do cat file here so what it will do it will make a zigzag now see cat here now see this is a compiled binary i can't see i can't read the contents that was the reason it's making okay if it is a normal okay. file if it is a normal file let us suppose it is in a normal file then i can read easily let us read normal file okay now i'm able to read here this is this is a normal file i am able to read but it's a compiled binary compiled code i can't see it Okay. okay so string is the command there i just grabbing the strings only i think you understand what does it mean by strings right so right. Small string we can grab here so he see here this, these are the string here so it's grabbing strings only that was the reason mm -hmm. i have used the strings to show you the demonstrative purpose okay so let me clear this and here same it is a your soft link as like a desktop shortcut soft link and live is earlier using for a 32 bit and okay. now live 64 is using for 64 bit okay so i hope till here now clear yeah yeah okay so
okay now let's come for a media and mnt so media and mnt both are empty folder by default okay so empty directory empty directory by default so why we are using so mostly we are using to automatically mostly uh, uh, we we are mounting your dvd cd cd dvd cd slash dvd uh, dvd or your pan drive okay so these are mounting uh, so out when you are mounting so we are using for mounting a uh, mounting purpose mounting purpose suppose if dvd uh, cd or dvd exist in your operating system and you want to mount it so you you need to use this uh, directory so uh, i think hope you have seen uh, in a windows so let let me produce a one more example here windows so here uh, so let us say this is a windows so what happened when you insert your usb here usb pan drive so what ha what happened it will create automatically f f so f means it's a mounting so your pan drive is mounting here right pan drive right so yeah. same similar uh, same similar when you are inserting a pan drive or something it automatically in a, like a one two uh, it is mounted under a slash media automatically it goes to here slash media so here we need to give a mount mounting location okay so this is the mounted path so where it is a mounted so these are mounted c is a mounted path d is a mounted path e is a mounted where it is mounted actually so same similar it is a mounted here so when you go to inside a slash media for example here for example that um, the dvd or cd or it's a pen drive might be your like your songs or folder so you will see your your song let us suppose it is a songs folder you will see your all the songs here okay so here it's mounting here okay so we are so for a mount this these by default these are the empty directory to mount a any uh, external devices either your might be your external hard disk also might be your pen drive might be your dvd cd dvd anything might be okay so let me clear so up to here it is clear yeah yeah okay so come for a slash opti opti means optional software optional software okay optional software okay okay so optional software is like same in a uh, in a windows you are able to see uh, here uh, c and here this is a c, uh, inside a c you're having a program files your all the software are installing here by default right so same things if you are installing a extra software extra software like let us understand nagios nagios is a monitoring tool yeah it is a monitoring tool it is a, it is a monitoring tool so where where the file is exist under slash opt so same as like program files or program files x86 so same things is here clear yeah okay cool okay now let's come for the proc so in, in so proc is here exist your all the process so let me show you the examples better okay so let me come for here okay so okay now i am showing you top command here okay mm -hmm. so now you are able to see these things and let me open one more thing here task manager okay so in task manager now let us compare here you are able to see cpu memory here also you are able to see cpu and memory okay so here these are the process here okay these are the process here these are the process here so these are the pid so let me show these same things here as well also let me show you click on details and here now now same result is here okay now you are able to see this is the pid pid means process id when we are executing any suppose we are, if we are open a google chrome so you will see google chrome is also using a pid process id every application having a their unique process id it, it might it never wait wait
sorry okay so pid pid means process id okay so process id is unique uh, always unique okay so let me do here okay so here so let me open here so here you will see here now i have a here so let me show you here now you are able to see this is a process id and here the name so this is a name here the same is here we called a call and here it is came a name here okay now you are able to see cpu memory okay so here you are creating these these are the process if i ask you prajital please let me know where this location where it's creating a pids so i think the answer is no and i have also same answer for no in a windows but i can let you know where is this location so these are location under proc all these pid exist under slash proc okay let me show you so here you can read here uh, so for example here we have a 10 12 or uh, you have 2 3 7 2 8 let me make it clear here and let me show you here okay okay so cd slash proc oh, sorry cd slash proc and here you are able to see all your all your process id these process id you have seen there so see you have read these process that time right so all these exist here and see i have shown you the cpu information and memory information ls cpu so here you are able to see ls cpu command your cpu okay but if you want to see the file where is this file here the file is this is a file where is this is a file see cpu info file if you want to see where is a memory info file you will see memory info file here and if you want to see the content so le let me show you the content as well also so cpu info so just i am doing head hyphen n only five lines okay now you are able to see here let me show you memory info also okay okay so okay so here you can see here head high so memory so where is this information exist under a proc under a proc okay so under a proc you will get your you will get your all your process id cpu info memory info etc okay your version also so which version okay so this is a linux version where the information is storing linux version so this information is storing here okay up time here you can see so all the information you will see here all the files is here under slash proc okay so please let me know if you have any confusion related to here okay no. so, so proc is clear right okay so okay so earlier we had discussion that a slash root is called a super user home directory okay so okay that's clear right? okay so up to root uh, it's clear right yeah yeah okay now let's come for the run here okay so inside a run you will find out your runtime variable using by runtime variable using by a operating system runtime variable using by operating system so we are not using here okay so let me show you that's your uh, operating system will use we will not use here okay we will not use here okay cd slash run here so here this is the pid so i have show you the these are the pid okay these are the pid so here these pid is using for as a variable at a runtime okay and this is the event log it is the pid event so uh, uh, so here in this directory only for a runtime used by operating system used by operating system so we are not doing here anything we are not doing here so, so runtime variable r so we are not doing here anything okay so okay so let me go for a let me close this one okay okay now come for the 
Aswin. So Aswin is here having a super wineries. So we called a super winery. Super means super winery means used by only used by only root user so root can use root user so only root user can use these binary super wineries normal user can't access these wineries only root user so let me take a one example here okay so here we'll see slash s bin okay here you will see lot of commands okay same same like a bin here but these commands only used by only super user so let me run here uh, f disk this is a super binary command f disk hyphen l you are able to see the output here if you want to see the location so which is the command is using to check the location you will see under slash has been slash f disk okay so earlier i told you it is here this is a real location usr has been right so here this is a soft link okay so here so let us exit from me as a super user so right now i am a super user hash means in a bash shell hash means i am a root user root it is a super user okay and it is your username it is your username and it is your host name it is your ho host name so host name is here like that okay it is your host name It is your host name and has been is path where right now I am path. Okay, so that does mean a bash shell. Okay, so okay, let me exit now. Right now, I'm where I am a normal user. Let me run same command. I am a normal user. Can I able to run? No, permission denied. Yeah. Okay, so I can't use so means EC2 user can't use these commands okay Command. so super binary will used by only root user okay yeah. if normal user want want to use this uh, at the the super user binary command he can use but that called a pseudo access okay we'll learn later for then oh. we can access this as a pseudo okay learn later oh. okay so okay so let me go pseudo su hyphen okay so okay now uh, come for a srb srb again it is a by default empty directory default empty directory so you can use your purpose that is not any defined purpose there is no defined purpose it is your wish okay there is no defined purpose okay this is empty default, default, default by default it's an empty directory okay so okay so let's come for a now sys so inside a sys your kernel related drivers and modules exist kernel related files your kernel related files like modules drivers or firmware so we are not using here etc okay let me show you here cd slash et sorry cd slash c sys okay so where i am right now under a sys you will see here these are related to your kernel dab class device firmware modules okay kernel is using so okay we are not using so for a temp temp is using for a temporary purpose okay so here suppose uh, if you installing any operating system or uh, if you are suppose so not in operating system suppose if you are installing any software or package it will generate some temporary files here okay under slash temp or either you can if you want you can if you want to put your temporary data like your any suppose if you want to install any third party package so you can put this package here okay for temporary purpose okay same as like here it is in percentage temp percentage uh, in a windows okay this is a temporary so here whatever we are doing activity it is creating a temporary here so we can clear it control and del so time to time you can clear these direct uh, these uh, files and folders okay these files and folders so now I'm, I'm clearing these are temporary so it's not a useful okay 
okay so these are created at the time of installation or os when your system is going on or off something okay so used by your system temporary okay so okay now come for the slash usr so you say see slash usr it is the real location where you will find your all your bin bin directory leave 64 leave and swin okay so here temp is also here okay so these all these things you will find here okay this is a real location okay and come for a slash bar slash where here your logs files comes here log files cd slash bar so here let's go for a logs so your your cd log okay so here you can see all the logs is generated here so you can see your logs here so even if you want to see your event log you need to go inside a message so these are event logs so all the, so inside a bar you will find your logs files logs files. so here crons scheduling and our mail logs your sh logs so now we have taken a sh you will see logs are generated here which user when it's connected and when closed here okay you can see these information okay so okay so please let me know uh, now i have completed my lecture here and you can see the all the information is here and i have used here demo perspective string command you can see or where is command you will see the path or which command i have used a bitch so you can either you can a bitch command or here so we'll learn later don't worry so demo perspective and i have example given you this dns so it is also here and opt i have produced example for your Nagios monitoring tool so use health check why we are using that is explained here so all the documents document documents are here okay so please let me know if you want to ask anything here no no I don't have anyone okay thank you so much